And today I'd like to do a review on cleanfeed.net. What cleanfeed.net allows you to do is to have remote audio from everyone. Meaning you can do interviews the same way you would on Skype um, with really good quality. You don't have to worry about uh, paying for it. Um, it only takes, they say it only takes 30 seconds for you to sign up. Uh, let's scroll down and see some of the features they mentioned. <clears throat> with CleanFeed, it lets you uh, send, receive, and record live audio using your internet browser. As you can see, it's for broadcasters. Uh, you don't just replace ISDN, go one better. Professionals are already using CleanFeed. Um, you record it live with anyone in the world. Where there's an interview or co-presenting, you can do it live. You don't have to worry about all the equipment. All you really need is a great microphone or a decent microphone. Right now, I'm using a Logitech H600 wireless headset because it gives me the freedom to move around when I do the screen uh, recordings. But you can also uh, have your computer or browser choose any other microphone that you're using. And that sounds really good. All right. To get started, let's think about why should we use CleanFeed. Easy to use. You'll have your first live interview recording within minutes. It says designed for you. You don't compromise. Clean feed is built from the ground up for live radio and audio production. It's high quality, crystal clear audio and a service you can trust used by major broadcasters around the world. <clears throat> and so far, it is free. You don't need external mixers or anything like that. You don't have to know about mix minuses or any other technical know-how. All you need, like they say, is a browser and a microphone, and CleanFeed handles the rest. So let's get started. What you do is go up here and you click this Let's Get Started button, or Get Started button. Oh, I got to connect my internet. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Let's refresh this. There we go. And basically just fill in uh, your full name or your name, your email address. You choose a login name, your password, agree to the terms of service. And their terms of service seem to be very straightforward. They basically say they're not responsible for the stability of this uh, platform. It's pretty stable unless you're using the, the beta, which has also been stable. And to please use it responsibly. And you click, you know, you agree to the terms of services and you click sign up. So if I've already signed up, I'm going to go ahead and go to the login window. In the login window, you put in your uh, information. I'm going to go ahead and fill mine in. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm at the window you come to after you log in. And uh, as you can see, I've enabled beta testing. And they say new features could be unstable at times, but I'm going to risk it. It's been doing pretty good. <clears throat> so let's say you want to do a new recording. Well, first of all, is this going to be a solo recording or are you going to invite someone? If you want to invite someone, you go up here to the left, hit invite, and you enter their name and their email address, and you click invite. So I'm going to enter a fake name and email address real quick. John Doe, J Doe at AOL.com. Once you have that enter, this button becomes orange. You just click on it and... Clean feed says that it's sending it to that uh, email address. And once they uh, get, receive that, all they have to do is click on the link and they'll arrive at your clean feed session. Before you send them an invite, though, make sure you tell them, you know, have the Chrome browser open. Um, make sure they're not using a uh, Apple device because as of yet, you can't use an Apple device. Um, just Droid devices and uh, desktops. You can actually use a Mac computer with Chrome but not an Apple device. All right, once, once they've inv been invited, what you need to do before then is uh, you can choose your audio settings if you want. They have several different ones. They have low quality talkback, speech optimized, music optimized, 256K BPS mono, or 320K BPS stereo. And as you can see, I currently selected stereo. I've, I've had that on there um, for a minute. Okay. Now that we're ready to record, we go ahead and hit the record button. Once you hit the record button, they ask you to name it. Now this is optional. You don't even have to name it, but I'm going to go ahead and put a title in there. Testing, test demo. And down here you can select whether or not you want to add a day and time to the file name. And in this blank, 
you can uh, choose uh, who what can be recorded our audio only other parties only um, everyone are separate tracks yes you can have a track for you and your guest and what that's what that's good for if it's a guest uh, has some audio difficulties or something or they're not loud enough um, you can <clears throat> actually edit it or if there's something in their audio track that you don't want to be in your uh, podcast you can edit it later on in a program like audacity or any other um, audio editing program you're using so I'm just going ahead and leave it on uh, everyone and it says records everyone which means all unmuted parties so let's go ahead and hit record and when I hit record I'm gonna go to the FAQs and just read a few things and uh, I'm gonna put this in this recording so you guys can kind of hear what it sounds like but do keep in mind remember I'm not using a really really great microphone right now I'm using this Logitech H600 wireless Bluetooth microphone which makes it very very easy to record things like this so let's go ahead and hit record as you can see you have an audio meter and if you get too loud your audio begins to clip and get distorted and it would turn red I'm gonna go ahead and talk kinda loud so you can see how that happens testing testing one two testing as you can see it did it just then okay down here it shows you how much time you have when you're recording and down here is finish and save but before we finish and save let's go to clean feed FAQs if I can type it in there <clears throat> let's read a few FAQs just to get a little bit of audio in there what about clean feed on Chrome or my iPhone slash iPad unfortunately these devices aren't supported yet even if you're using Google Chrome Apple control what their iOS devices can and can't do and so far the web technology we are using isn't available on these devices we'll bring you more news when we have it Android phones or tables will support it or tablets is what they meant are supported using the Chrome uh, browser uh, let's see can I use clean feed on Firefox hopefully soon reliability is an important is important for services like clean feed whilst we have a version of clean feed that works on Firefox in the pipeline we want to make sure it's fully tested before making it widely available it says can I send slash receive audio from another application into uh, clean feed you can use additional software on your system try using Soundflower Mac if you're using a Mac or virtual audio cables if you're using Windows you also can select your uh, microphone being set into your uh, fed into your mixer and use any um, different things that you uh, have you know jingles or intros and outros with that and one more thing will my audio be compromised by clean feed no it won't we don't and please excuse my heater just came on hope you don't hear it Okay, no it won't. We don't believe in doing any additional processing your audio without letting you know. The audio signal you receive should be the best possible reproduction of the source, processed only by the Kodak. You might find that consumer devices or sound cards sometimes add additional processing though. Check your device settings. And that's about it. Alright. So once again, it's cleanfeed.net. You can use this in place of... Uh, uh, Skype and some other things really good audio and as you saw you can select your uh, different audio uh, audio quality now when you want to end your uh, recording all you have to do is click on this box right here now be ready to have it download to your browser wherever your browser saves downloads okay so you're gonna click that and to download it that quick we're gonna go ahead and open it up show and folder and there it is and here's what it sounds like the time you have when you're recording and down here is finish and save but before we finish and save let's go to clean feed FAQs alright folks I hope you like this demo on cleanfeed.net check it out I think it's a really great alternative to Skype and other things and um you can duck your podcast interviews or just simply record your own audio, your own podcast if you want to. All right, take care. Let me know how you like this video.